How's it going, my lovely death disciples? I am the Shattered Reaper, and... Oh, wait, hold on a second. Um, yeah, okay. I got a good, better idea of what's going on here. I am the Shattered Reaper, and today we're going to continue our Dragon Age Inquisition Let's Play. Where last we left off, um... Uh, don't tell anybody, although everybody knows about this. I robbed some elven graves, I'm sorry. I, it was a requirement, okay? I mean, sure, it didn't make the Dalish happy, but, like... There was a mosaic piece. Okay, I, I, I mean, I, there were there was some gold there. Sure, I took that, but I let. Uh, but other than the gold and the mosaic piece, I left the grave mostly undisturbed by unlocking the door and de breaking open some graves. But I cleans I I cleansed the demons out. That that counts for something, right? I mean, it did, but they still weren't happy that I robbed the graves, so that was also something. Um, other than that, uh, we did also uh, get rid of all of the rifts within the uh, area, or at least this portion of the map of the area, and uh, now we have cleansed the undead of this particular fort, or at least we uh, got rid of one group, or something like that. And, uh, now there is supposed to be some quest over here, and I want to know what it is. Or is- is this not the right level for it? Is it underneath me like it was before? Because if it is, then, uh, why did I come up here? I'm guessing there probably is some sort of room underneath the, uh, trebuchets or catapults or whatever. There has to be something, you know, that gives me the quest or something like that. Because I ran into this problem literally in the same location. And, uh, oh, seems like there's something magical going on over there. But, uh, right now, too busy looking for a quest. I will find that quest one way or another. Because I am here to do absolutely... Oh, well, what do you know? Secret compartment door. What are the odds? And, yep, it looks like the quest is somewhere around here. There we go. Map of Anavarus. I have no idea what this means. Oh wait, is it the ruin where I last um, dealt with a, uh, one of the... Um, one of the runes. Yes, it has to be. Uh, or I mean glyphs. And what's this? Legend of the Three Sisters, book one. The Legend of Les Trois Sœurs. I don't know how to pronounce it in French. That's probably why it sounded as insulting as it did. Anyway, it is often repeated in Orlais and has an incredible number of variations. In some, the sisters are depicted as innocent on the surface, but eagerly engaging in body exploits the moment they escape from their chaperone. In others, the sisters are heroic, valiantly solving any number of problems, sometimes unintentionally, before returning home. It's in still others, the sisters are clueless, bumbling from one adventure to the next unwittingly leaving riots and chaos in their wake. The nature depends on who is telling the story or where they heard it last. Sometimes it's a raunchy tale for tavern drunks. Other times it's a scandalous tale told to criticize either the Empress or the Chantry. There are some elements in common between all these stories, however. They always revolve around the adventures of three sisters of the Montbelial clan, Brielle, Marie, and Cherise. They are depicted as young women typical of Orlesian nobility, versed in social graces but innocent of the world outside of their sheltered existence. One day, while traveling with their chaperone, always referred to as La Bête, and usually depicted as a large and vindictive woman, they become separated and lost on the streets of Valoyer. Bewildered at finding themselves alone, the three sisters panic and end up in the infamous Belle Marche, an area of the capital renowned for its garish and celebratory seating. In all versions of a legend, this is where the sisters' adventures truly begin. Well, I mean, celebratory seediness. Lead the way. <laughs> uh, from Tales of Valoyer by Lord Renel Jacquin. Anyway, so I get, is that everything in here, or is there more? I must know if there is more. So far there doesn't, oh wait. Book, another one. The Sol Canto. A traveler asked the Ashkari, What was your vision of or of our purpose? 
great Ashikari replied, I'll tell you a story. A vast granite statue stands on an island holding back the sea. The heavens crown its brow. It sees to the edge of the world. The sea drowns its feet and every tide. Uh, with every tide. The heavens turn overhead, light and dark. The tide rises to devour the earth and fall back. The sun and the stars fall to the sea one by one in their turn, only to rise again. The tide rises, the tide falls, but the sea is changeless. Hmm. Interesting story. Yep, I think that's everything in here. Alright then. So, we now have a treasure map. Not quite what I was expecting, but I'll take it at the same time. Um... There's a camp we could set up over here and a couple of quests over to the east. We'll just have to see which we get to first. Although, there are still some peculiar locations around here that I'd very much like to investigate. And knowing the fact that I am all about investigating things, that is exactly what I'm going to do. The Desolate Bank. This does look like a bank, and it does look very desolate, and ooh, there's something to search. A challenge. Hey, Dom, I know it's you poking my stuff. Uh, no, this is not Dom, unless it's short for Dominatrix, Inquisitor Emperor of the Imperial Holy, uh, Beautifully Graceful Alfheim Empire. Been a while since I said that title. But anyway, <clears throat> I saw you following me to my stash. I could smell you from a hundred yards. Don't think you'll be getting what you lost at Wicked Grace. It's not going to happen. Let's be serious. You could try to get it, get to it, but we both know you won't. Lardass. Nick. Well, I may not be this dumb person you speak of, but I will find the stash because I am an expert at finding things. One way or another, I find them. Okay, it seems like I'm going over to the camp location. Probably good, since I really don't want to have to do... Or maybe I want to investigate this area real quick. Uh, but yeah, I kind of want to set up a camp, you know, just so that I have a place I can uh, quickly get back to without having to travel a long distance to get back. That's all. Well, I mean, it didn't explode them all at once, but it works. It... I thought we cleared this area, by the way. Just, just thought I'd point that out to everyone and- Oh, good. Thanks, Cassandra, for having my back. Or my front. Or all of those. You are very good at making sure that people's fronts and backs are well taken care of, and I appreciate that. Now, uh, more undead this way that Vivian got herself caught up into. that guy. I don't think it did, though. Ultimate Archer Technique, go! Did not have him sleep. Why did it not have him sleep? There we go, he's dead. And, uh, that one is still standing, even though I cannot lock onto it. Okay, that's weird. But, uh, I'll ignore it since he's not doing anything. Anyway, I think that clears up all the undead. Not all the things we can find. Oh, it's just a sacrificial dagger. That's completely useless to me. Especially one of that quality. I mean, come on. Paragon Astith of Grey Carving, Arcane Horror Heart, Silk Brocade. I don't know why I was trying to pronounce it interestingly, but whatever. Anyway, you got this. Just, just do the magic thing against the magic thing. Okay. Burn it. Blow the signaling horn. Uh, where, where is the signaling horn? I, I legitimately have no idea where that is. Uh, oh. Of course, it's all the way over there. Just as I was gonna try and set up camp, but fine. Have to ruin my summer fun. Don't appreciate that. Anyway, there it is. And now I also have to climb some stairs. Ah! This is just asking too much. That I climb a set of stairs. 
and blow a horn. I mean, what do you take me for? A filthy peasant. Is that what you take me for? Because I'm not. That's how I treat other people, and they like it. Because it's me that's doing it. Anybody else who treats other people like peasants, well, they obviously don't like it because they're terrible. Anyway, place is secure. You guys could do whatever or something. I, I don't know. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, place is secure. We got people set up all around. Power gain from it. Hooray. Free men bastard. Causing trouble for everyone. Well, it appears this helped the Orlasians more than it helped me because I would have claimed this place for myself. I mean... It's not that great in comparison to some of the other keeps that I have, but you know, having places I can uh, set up as bases of operation, I always enjoy those because, you know, it's the expansion of my empire. I don't give a fuck about the Orlesian Empire, but fine. Fine, I see how it is. Speaking of which, by the way, I also would have thought that having me as emperor would have been a viable option to rule the Orlesian Empire. But, you know, it. it well, oh. Well, it has my flag, so technically it's mine, so I'll accept that. Anyway, it appears there are more desolate and burned down buildings for me to uh, search people's stashes for, so uh, don't mind if I go ahead and take a look at ooh, a secret. There must be something here. Yeah, fuck! In your little bastards. Also, you. You think you could try and outwit me in a game of archery? Do you really think you could do that? Especially when my people are beating the shit out of you currently. Stupid dumbass body pit note. I want you and your men to collect the dead and bring them to the ramparts. We have to burn them. Gather them together, then leave. I'll deal with it from there. Oh. Well, already took care of it. Grey whiskey, right wine, conscription nails. So I have 12 more balls to find. A ball marked vintage warden tentative home. I can loot this as well. I always give a fuck about it, honestly. This, however. Crumpled missive. Did you hear? One of the recruits from Val Royer said they found th they saw the famous Thom Rainer drinking at the Halberd, east of Val Royer. I thought you'd be interested given your history, although the lad's probably only seen him in sketches. Somehow I doubt the old captain's foolish enough to come within a hundred miles of the capital. I'll let you decide whether you believe it. Anyway, I heard you might be relieved in a week or two. You could talk to Prawl, see if he'll let you take leave to follow the, uh, to follow the lead. He'll understand. He did allow you to enlist for our side even after what happened with Callier. Rosalind. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, that seems to be everything in here. More desolate, burnt down buildings. Don't mind if I investigate them all for myself so that I could collect their riches. Or whatever secrets they hide. Riches or secrets, it matters not. I'll take them. Down, no, no limit. I've hidden the boat under Ferb's old fishing pier. It should have everything you need. Meet me down the river, but watch out for the currents. I'll wait for you, love, D. These people really suck at trying to escape with their love affairs, because they just keep getting them killed. Note to self, never run off in fade-offs, because everyone is fucking terrible at their job of making sure their lovers fucking survive. Anyway, is there anything in this burnt down building, like someone's stash or whatever? And uh, no. This was a this was just a house that is burnt. Okay then. Anyway, moving on. Should be a camp location somewhere around here. Up oh, right there. Perfect. More influence for me, and there are fade rifts to clear as well. 
Uh, but first things first, um, I would like to go ahead and, uh, where's the part? Well, I could probably just do it from the map. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and head to the world map and return to, uh, Skyhold so that I can, uh, get my missions ready to go because some of them are needed in the Exalted Plains, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Specifically, those glyphs that I found last episode. I'd very much like to know as much as I can about them. And while we wait, I'm just going to check on a few things. Okay, any day now. Just work your magic quickly. <clears throat> okay, finally. Anyway. All right, to the war table, there are things that need to be taken care of as of this moment, like right the fuck now, so everybody gather at the war table, or the war table right in front of me. War council, be there. We're all going to be there. All right, let's look in our license. That's where we've sent all of our missions. Uh, Alright, let's see. Deal with Lord Basile Moron. What have we got for that? We had one of our Liliana spies bait Lord Basile into starting his rant at a recent ball. Just as he was reaching the climax of his argument, Lady Doucette entered in full Inquisition regalia with an entourage of our soldiers and exposed her father's lies. She then challenged him to a duel for the Inquisition's honor. The Lord would not meet her blade and was shunned for the rest of the event. While Lady Giuseppe became the star of the evening, I don't think we need to worry about Lord Basile in the future, Josephine. Influence, 30. Uh, yeah. I think we've got that one covered. Thank you, Lady Doucette. You have done me a great service. Assigning Michel de Chavigne. Very good. I'll speak to Michel immediately from what I hear. He's already struck up a friendship with some of our young soldiers after one night at the tavern. I can already see him moving into mentoring into a mentoring position. Cullen. And we get an Enchanter sa uh, Staff Schematic. Great. And uh, investigate the Elven Glyphs. Let's do that. The Elven Glyphs discovered in the Dales might prove valuable. Cursory inspections suggest they predate the ruins in which they were found, possibly transferred onto the stone from a much older edifice that dates back to the original Elven nation, or even earlier. That Dalish elf who joined us is eager, to say the least. The Dalish possess great knowledge. We should be honored to have him with us. It required some gifts to several Dalish clans traveling along the Waking Sea coast, but Cillian was able to get the text he needed to translate the glyphs. He claims they are a kind of map showing the location to an ancient temple dedicated to Durthamen, the elven god of secrets. He has provided us the location, but it should be noted we're not the first to investigate these glyphs. A group of treasure hunters evidently mentioned them several years ago, though they have not been heard from since. Hmm. Let's go. I know I haven't finished everything in the Exalted Plains, but you know what? This elven temple calls to me. It calls to me in ways people cannot understand. 
And also, Vivian, your your heart is gonna have to wait a little bit for my own personal ancestral needs, despite the fact that I also literally recently just grave robbed an ancestral graveyard of my people. Don't call me out on that. Anyway. Huh. Well, uh... This is an interesting way to start off, but you know what? Okay. Investigate the area, yeah. No kidding. Let's investigate, gentlemen. Someone's been here. Not for some time. The camp is abandoned. The small book appears to be a collection of notes. Judging by their dates written over a period of three years, they chronicle the search for something called Durthamen's Wisdom by an Orlesian archivist. Lord Grishian Fall, the elven god of secrets, disappeared along with all his kin, or so their legends claim. Yet his priesthood remained behind, and the priests were said to possess the ability to see and know all. I believe this to be a result of magic and not a divine gift. Magic locked in treasures that remain to this day. With the aid of my companions, I hope to prove it. I believe I have found a temple of Durthamen, the resting place for the wisdom, or at least the location of the last high priest who was said to possess it. From all I have gathered, it might be possible to summon this high priest spirit from the in from the ether here in this place. Impossible? Yet Durthamen's rituals will evidently allow it. Perhaps one of the oldest secrets we know of will be revealed to us here. Actually, hold on. If there is a way I can change my party just real quick. Um. Ah, oh, okay. So that's how it works. Um. Yeah, I think I have to go back to Skyhold temporarily, and then I'll just, uh, be back at the temple. So that, just so that I can change the party, because I'm pretty sure someone's gonna be interested in coming to this place. Okay, now I'm just gonna quickly go over to the uh, fast travel location and use that to get back to where I was. Inquisitor. Okay, world map, Temple of Durthamen, travel, and uh, I will still bring Dorian, because, you know, we've been with each other for a while. I'm gonna bring you this time, even though your equipment is... Shit, but you know, that that's not unusual, honestly. I mean, I've had Cassandra with kind of a shitty sword, even though it says it's high quality. Uh, Varric, his, he doesn't do a whole lot of damage, despite all of the modules I have given him. I don't understand how to improve his damage, so that's why he hasn't been a part of a party for a while. Anyway, so we should find this whole thing interesting. We just wade through the water. Oh, right. I also have to uh, level up uh, Solus. I completely forgot. Um, okay, you seem like a spirit. Wait a minute. Did you. S oh, no, wait. This is Dorian's thing. Um, <laughs> I was really wondering, like, hey, wait a minute. Why does Solus have the same skill set as Dorian? That makes no sense. <laughs> Uh, but no, um, this, this is Solus. Uh, you have the Rift Mage. But I'm gonna focus on your spirit stuff. But wait, why did it... Okay, uh, that was weird. Uh, Peaceful Aura, your Aura of Tranquility makes enemies less likely to attack you in battle, even when you damage them. Mind Blast, you send enemies staggering with an explosion of willpower that drives them back and makes them less likely to target you again. Fortifying Blast, each enemy you strike with Mind Blast increases your protective barrier as you turn their pain into your power. Cleansing Blast. You can now use Mind Blast to remove all negative status effects from yourself. You can do Fortifying Blast. Strength of the Spirits. Your barriers draw on the magic of the Fade to absorb more energy before depleting. Okay. Dispel. You remove hostile magic and status effects from allies while stripping beneficial benefits from enemies. Okay. Transmute Magic. Dispelling magic and status effects increase your own spell's damage and barrier generation for a brief duration. Uh, okay. 
Strengthened Veil. Dispel now weakens the magical attacks of affected enemies. But we're not going to have that for everyone, so let's just transmute magic. Uh, revival. You summon spirits to heal fallen allies in the area, getting them back on their feet and fighting again. Oh, okay. Life Ward. Spirits now protect your allies for a short time, reducing incoming damage and reviving them if they fall unconscious. Or Desperation. Revival is easier to cast, but no longer revives allies permanently. Instead, allies who are already unconscious fight with great power for a few seconds before falling again. Uh, I'm gonna go with Life Ward. Sounds pretty good to me. Dorian. I mean, I know Solus can do it, but... Y you are currently my bay right now. Oh wait, enemy. Well, uh, that uh, was an unnecessary dropping of the thing. Oh, fuck me. Be gone from this temple! The undead swine. Oh wait, I, I shouldn't say swine though, that's insulting to the pigs. Oh. The lost temple of Durthamen. We few whisper here where Shadow dwells. Some words remain unuttered. Truths are pushed down, down, where they shall never arise again. It's strange that I can understand that. The secrets of this temple have remained unspoken for too long. They wish to be known. That is true. That is the thing about secrets. They want to be revealed. Take the head of misery. I don't see how this could lead to anything bad. <laughs> As if the altar's waking up. Uh, uh, about that thing where I believe nothing bad was going to happen. I mean, it was just a few undead, so yeah, nothing, nothing that bad. It is alive, because the creature connected to it is alive. It is but one piece of the whole. Well, better go find the rest. And, ooh. Medium more lesion battle armor? No. Hmm. Well, then, uh, I'll take the rain velvet, but the sledgehammer can fuck off. Do I have to keep dropping my thing? Oh, there's another thing over there. And the torch goes out. Great. Now that's strange. Requires veil fire, but I'm not allowed to bring veil fire. Explorers in the temple. A number of notes are scribbled on this scroll. Many crossed out or written in terse, angry letters. Reveal the heart, unite it with the flame. Together they will form the key to... Liberation? Advancement? The translation is not clear. Also do not think this brazier is the flame it speaks of. Is this the power of love? Is that what this is? So it needs veil fire. But I cannot bring the veil fire. That is interesting. That is ex that is incredibly very interesting. Now what does that do? Nope, that's still there. I also need the veil fire for that glyph. Obviously. Light everything. Also, what just happened down there? I'm pretty sure I just saw the rift down there. Crypts of the Forgotten. Now 
that's strange. Uh, yep, they all require the Veil Fire. So, I'm gonna need to backtrack just a little bit and- Oh! There's a glyph right there, too. Uh, yeah, now- uh, Yeah, I definitely need the Veil Fire. Is there another, like, recharging station for it, or... Do I really have to go all the way back? Stabbed in the back. <laughs> Poor bastard. This human man was a warrior, dead perhaps for a few months. His skin is dried, stretched over his bones. From what you can tell the corpse, he was stabbed in the back. An expression of terror remains locked in the rectus of the dead man's face. Thought that was something. Okay, yeah, um, I guess I really am gonna have to backtrack all the way to the first fail fire. Which is kind of annoying, but okay, whatever. It's not like you just took down my. It's not like you just uh, extinguished my torch earlier, but you know, fine, whatever. Oh, right. I forgot that's the only thing that had. Hmm. I've gone over here. Okay, let's get the veil fire now. Again. Now there was something over here and I'd very much like to investigate that as well. There it is. No, it's not where it was. Okay, now I'm completely lost. Where did that first thing I came come across go? Oh, wait, in here. That's what got me confused. No way through this gate. I wonder what it's made of. Okay, so I guess I can't go that way just yet either. Which means just go through the place that I just went through. see how things go. Did, did it just go out on me? Oh, is it because of the water? I need to do something about the water then. How do I get rid of the water? It requires ears of unheeding. Tongue of whispers. It's a head of misery. Bringing those organs here, putting them back together. Who knows what will happen? Good things, I would assume. Explorers in the temple, a series of papers and notes are stuffed into a small booklet. It is stained with dry blood and covered in dust. The most legible entry is the last. We're still not certain why Lord Gritian ran off during the night. The others think it's the nightmares, though they say it's voices that speak to them. We took a vote and decided to continue the search for Dothaman's wisdom. If we don't, we forfeit everything we've worked towards. Trying to piece together all of Gritian's notes won't be easy. All I can think is that we need to put the relics revealed by the braziers into these flames. It's all part of some elven ritual, I suppose. The only gruesome part is all these desecca desiccated organs. Lord Gritian believed they were part of the high priest of his temple and that we're somehow reassembling him. I find it unsettling that the elves would have dis disassembled their high priest in the first place. Well, guess what? You don't know shit about us, so you don't get to judge us. You enslaved us. So you can fuck off with that. Eyes of Sorrow. Hmm. And I'm assuming that's where the person... Okay, so, uh, thing I need to figure out is how do I get the torch past those doors without worrying about it being extinguished? Here's where the magic happens. Literally. Ornate elven key required. Okay, then. It's 
still very much like to have a torch. So, I guess I'm gonna have to backtrack so that I can at least enter those rooms I want to enter. Didn't realize Veilfire could be extinguished through water, but okay. Or wait, is there water over the thing? Oh, I can, I can enter it. Take the tongue of whispers. All right. care of them all. Take the corpse hearts. So, based on what we were all able to just see, it seems like the Veilfire can't enter the room. Just already had to have entered it the first time, I guess. The Lost Temple Dirthamen. Dirthamen is gone, he said. Our highest one brings uh, to us this gravest news. What shall we do? Where shall we go? What of the old secrets that burn within our hearts? I don't have to do this every single time I enter into a new room that has a uh, body part or a glyph. Because I'd still very much like to be able to just, you know, continue on with the journey without being randomly distracted. Never mind, okay. Or is it- oh wait, I think I get it now. Here's an unheeding... Part of despondency. It was the Tongue of Whispers, right? Yeah, it was. I think I know what it is that I've been doing wrong, actually. What I need to do is just not bring more than one organ into the same room. That means I have to do this four separate times as well and just can- this is gonna require a lot of backpacking. I can't have them all in the same spot. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but like, <sighs> that's a bit of extra work for me, but which, you know, under normal circumstances, I would say is beneath me, but you know, since I have to prove myself, I will. I can and I will to my elven gods, so that is exactly what I will do. And if they think they can that I can't, then I, uh, I say, screw it. Let's see if my hypothesis can be proven correctly. And notice I said hypothesis. You ill, you scientifically illiterate people that keep say that keep using theory when you mean hypothesis. Learn the difference. I don't care if it's common for people to say theory instead of hypothesis. Well, guess what? It's hypothesis. Or this just- okay, so that disproved my hypothesis, so, um, it is not a theory. It is, uh, it is a failed hypothesis. I really wish there was more than just that one fail fire magically sealed. <sighs> okay, Solus, can you do something about this? Okay, maybe magic doesn't solve every magic problem. Okay, so what do we do about this, then? So we have no ornate elven key. We do not have a way to know about the mechanisms of the thing, of the door, earlier. And we also can't get into the, uh, to the, uh, whatever the organ, the next organ is. That organ. We can't get to that one. This one is locked off, I believe. Oh, no, wait. This one I can't get to. This one is... Uh, oh, wait, there is an opening. But I still probably need the veil fire for that one. Or wait, maybe I've been thinking about this all wrong. I need to have them not only... I have to have them placed in order. 
Not only that, I also can't have them in the same room. I have to have them- I have to collect them in order, place them on the examination tables in order, and then I can continue collecting the rest. I think that was the secret behind why the veil fire keeps going out. I mean, it's still kind of annoying. Requires a bit of backtracking, but okay. Okay. So there should be an- Ah, there is. Okay, so far I can enter here. The Eyes of Sorrow. Okay, so that appears to have been the next thing. Um... Ow, 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 ow. Oh, you, you did not fall asleep. Okay, well, you're still dead, so that works. More heart? Yeah, I'll be taking all of those for research. Thanks. If you don't mind. Velvet. Let's see, is there anything else in this room? Oh, yes, there is. Heart in Hightown Chapter 7. Ooh, someone brought Varg's book out in the temple. By Varg Tethras. Don and Brenokovic search Comte de Favre's office. The Comte lay dead. Murdered while armed and barricaded inside his own home. The servants' rooms were all empty, and from the pulled out drawers and abandoned trunks, they had been sent away in a hurry. The Comte had clearly expected trouble, and trouble had come to call. The Comte kept all of his letters, decades of correspondence sorted by. Apparently, the Kingdom of Origin filled his writing desk. Donan rummaged through them, looking for darker ink, fresher pages, anything that might indicate that it was recent. And then came the shattering sound of someone kicking in the front door. Hey, my lord fancy pants, get your ass down here. Javelin and Donnan ran for the foyer. A woman stood over the splintered door, her eyes glittering brighter than the daggers in her hands. You there, she snapped at the guardsman. Where's the Comte de Folifit? We need to have some words. One of them will be coin, and another will be now. Kirkwood God, now, Donnan barked back at her. This is a crime scene. Identify yourself. Gods, are you? She smirked, squinting up into the dark towards him. No suits of armor outside. Man poking around a noble's house in the dark. This does look like a crime scene. Don't and don't flinch. Your name. Don't and didn't flinch. Your name. Belladonna. Captain Belladonna of the Dragon's Jewels. She executed a floored bow that somehow managed to be insulting. Her bow. Where's the damned Comte? He's dead, Donan said, watching her reaction. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? She cracked a wry smile. Trust me, sweet thing. If I were going to kill him, I'd have waited until he paid me first. What was your business with the Comte? Hevlan spoke up, startling Donan. He'd almost forgotten his partner was there. Cargo transport, she glowered at the recruit. He hired me to deliver some antiques, and I've been sitting at anchor for a fortnight without being paid. She peered up into the dark balconies overhanging the foyer and shouted, Anybody here? You want this rubbish? Come to the docks tonight and pay me fifty sovereigns for it. Otherwise, I'm dumping it in the sea. With that, she turned on her heel and strode away. And it sounds a bit like a misfortune sort of character. But, anyway, not important, so, uh, let's see, it was the Eyes of Sorrow or something like that? Ears of Unheeding. Wait a minute, where are the other two? Uh, oh, there they are. Hands of Torment, Eyes of Sorrow. Okay, yeah, this does feel a little bit out of order, if I'm being perfectly honest, but, oh well. Magically sealed. Okay, so that's still the same. Now, what other ones have I not accessed yet? There's one over there, but that requires the ornate elven key, so... Only one other option, really. Crypts of the Forgotten Paragon's Luster. So far it hasn't gone out, so... Must be the right way. Nope. Oh, loot. Don't really care about that. 
explorers in the temple. I don't care what Lord Gretian claims. There were voices last night, whispering to us in our sleep. It is not silly fears, it is this place. Is it worth finding this artifact he hunts if it attracts spirits to us as we search? And how did the spirits know our names? They knew personal things, events I would rather forget. I would leave it if it did not mean forgoing my entire pay after months of work. That's kind of ridiculous. The Lost Temple of Dearthman. Four more Veilfire runes to find. Our highest one. He deceives us. The honey words that drip from his tongue. We know the despair they mask. We disciples of Dirthman know the truth. Now as ever. Like brazier. Oh! Well, now I have another place where I can uh, get another torch. Perfect. And there's a door I can unlock. Gathered into one spot for a nice spicy explosion. Take the corpse hard. Maybe not for necromancy things. Ornate elven key. Well, there we go. Treasure room. If we're lucky. So we're back in the ritual area, perhaps. Yep, I'm way ahead of you there. But uh, first, we kind of need to put the organ on the thing. Garden, and we need to examine this. The Lost Temple of Dirthamen. The Highest One promises safety. I shall protect our ancient secrets. He claims all that Dirthamen once granted us will be safe. But it is our blood he seeks. A sacrifice dark and unholy. A prison of evil to keep us in and all else out. That's... ominous. else in here it looks and there goes my torch okay so it is specifically that door that does not want me to have that veil fire torch luckily there's a closer one over here that way I don't have to backtrack over everything but first things first let's place the organ on the pedestal Let's see, it was the Hands of Torment, I believe. So you go there. Now we just need a couple more, and the ritual will be complete. The ritual of great and dark magic. Oh, right, that's the magically sealed door. <laughs> My bad. Gotta use the key on for the elf, um, ornate elf. So this is where the key leads. You know, I really have to wonder how those re researchers did not do a good job here. I mean, come on, this 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 is easy. Like seriously, how did they fail so bad when I was able to do it in so little time? Like, come on. Oh, whoops! I didn't want to pull that again. I just wanted to pick up my damn torch. Damn it! Ah, it opens this door. Iron Bull, if you would be so kind. Hmm, okay. I'm good. I'm good now. They will come for us in the night. Those who would steal the words from our lips and our god no longer rises to our defense. We claw at the walls the walls. Now we pray for a dawn that will never arrive. Don't care about any of that. Don't care about that. Oh. And don't care about that. Ugh, what is with these people and giving me basic crap now? Do they not understand who they're dealing with? I'm assuming they don't. Path of Secrets. I wonder if I made a wrong.
wrong turn somewhere. But at the same time, I want to continue exploring. We need another artifact. The wards are working. I don't know what that means for us, though. Is it just like a ward against the demons or something? One more. Solus slightly approves. His mind which cannot think. His tongue which cannot speak. His hands which cannot touch. His ears which cannot hear. His eyes which cannot see. And thus shall our highest one be bound. He shall join us in our silence. I'm guessing I shouldn't go that way. But at the same time, not a whole lot of choice given. And that's why I thought not to go this way. Hmm. Oh! What do you know, Solace? If you wouldn't mind. You probably wanted some attention, so that's why I came to you. Ears of unheeding. Okay, that's five of them recovered. Why at me specifically, but thanks, Solus, for the shields. Oh, no, wait. One more. Okay, that takes care of that. Now, where is my torch? There it is. Okay, Arcane Heart of Horror. Yep. Some gold. Enhanced Charging Bull Ring. And Arcane Horror Rags and Arcane Horror Heart. Okay, good to know we got all of that, then. Okay, then. Uh, that should wrap things up in here. Now we just need to return all the stuff to the center again. Back of secrets. This is the right room, right? I oh, no, it's a different room. Oh, okay. Although, again, I should probably return it to the table. Yeah, I'll just return this to the table first, and then I will... Oh, no, wait. Now I remember what this is. Alright, back in the sanctuary. Let's just put this back where it should be. Let's see. It was the ears of unheeding, I think. You go right there. And one more. Oh, that's what I was stuck on. I was wondering, wait a minute. Is there supposed to be something going on right now? We already went through here. But then there was a door this way that led into something different. Now I remember. Let's see now. What have we got this way? Rash vine. Take some of those.
Chamber of Despondency. Rash fine metal. There it is. Iridium and lamb's wool. Are there any runes in here? Or just the heart? For his heart, for his heart, our highest one is bound. The secret that he keeps, he keeps with us. The vigil that he keeps, he keeps with us. His fear will not weaken us. No one shall come, dear mentor. In our eternity, only darkness reigns. I guess that was the room. for the sake of research so that I could kill them faster. More enhanced charging bow rings. Iron Bolt, I hope you're ready for your fingers to be completely decked based on the naming of these rings. Okay, where am I now? Oh, oops. Did not mean to do that. Sorry. Don't know why that happened. Well, clearly I haven't been here because then this rash vine wouldn't be here. Okay, we've been there. Actually, yeah, this is a starting point, I think. of misery. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why this is showing us an undiscovered area. Because that was the first thing I noticed. Eh, where? Anyway, we got organs to return to a certain particular spot, so let's get to it, shall we? Fair demon. Oh, it's a friendly, you just died. Okay, this seems like a pretty good time to bring that out. So you, can you just like, stop? Just stop, I'm kinda busy here. So thanks, but no thanks. Okay, hold on, my mother got a loot. Oh, that had to have done a ton of damage from the distance that came from. Actually, don't I have a buff that makes longer ranged attacks more deadly? Don't worry, Bay, I'm coming. I killed that one. That was me. That was all me. So, that was the High Priest of the Temple. Imprisoned in silence and despair by his own followers. A sad legacy. Search chamber of the oracle. Will do. 
Oh, and we get a mosaic piece. Perfect. Freed our slaves. Five of twelve. All right. We seem to be a five of the mosaic pieces in all of our processes. We need to change that and make it bigger at some point. Well, I managed to get one new, uh, of that. Enchanter coat of arms, Dirthamon's wisdom. Oh, it's a shield. Not quite what I expected, but okay. Now that's interesting. I mean, I guess. I was kind of expecting more for Dirthamon's wisdom, you know, like a ton of knowledge to learn about, secrets undiscovered, and perhaps maybe the secret to, to uh, divinity, all those shards, but, but no, it, 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 Dirthamon's wisdom is a shield. I mean, okay, just kind of expected a little bit more than that. Just saying. I was, I, I, I kind of had a bit more hopes than that. <sighs> so much for a god of secrets. Anyway, with my hopes thoroughly demolished, let's just get out of here, shall we? I'm sure at least someone will be able to appreciate the shield. Would Cassandra, would... Blackwall, I don't know. Somebody who uses a shield will appreciate it. Because it definitely does not serve a whole lot of worth to me. Am I heading the wrong way? I am. I am heading the wrong way. Templars, haven't I already been disappointed enough and now you have to pull this on me? Is this really how you want how you deal with your problems? Anybody have anything to say about that? No? Just me? Okay. Well, this has been kind of disappointing, but oh well. Um, back to the Exalted Plains, I guess. Yeah, we'll go back to the Exalted Plains. Not that location, though. Uh, this one. Yeah, this one. The Riverside Camp. Recording now. Oh, it's been about time. Wait a minute. Did I ever send my agents on new assignments? Oops. I don't think I did. Uh, might want to change that um, real quick, and uh, then we'll head back to the Exalted Plains. Let's go ahead and uh, actually assign our agents to do... Oh, no, wait. I think we did assign them to do things. It's just one of them got interrupted by the uh, Exalted Plains stuff and the uh, research of the glyphs. Yeah, that might have been it, actually. <laughs> I got distracted by that. Anyway, to the War Council! Or to the War Room, War Council! Okay, um, so I may have abandoned that whole thing, uh, mission it- Ooh, 102 power, nice. Okay, anyway, <clears throat> we have news we need to read. Um, uh, negotiate a deal for weapon plans? Right, we were on that. There. 
The Valdormo nobleman should no longer get in our way. Once my agents explained the situation to him, he was quite content to step away. The Anderfell's blacksmith's weapon designs are ours, Liliana, and we get Anderfell's cleaver. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Now then, what other things can we get ourselves up to? Bestow mourning holla. Inquisitor, in light of the information you gave us regarding the truth of the events at Red Crossing, we would like to offer a sign of mourning to the village. Since both sides played a part in this tragedy, honoring the village with one of our holla seems appropriate. If it could be kept there, it might remind both sides of the fragile beauty of things that journey to places where, they are, where there are strangers. I understand that the villagers of Red Crossing do not trust the Dalish, given our history. If you could convince them to accept the tribute in good faith, it would be greatly appreciated. Keeper Howen. With the right rumors, the villagers, in, the villagers in Red Crossing will think they are being granted custody of a captured trophy in honor of their victory over the Dalish. I don't like that, honestly. I can twist the noble who controls the Red Crossing into accepting this, but it will end two marriages and lead to at least one duel. Okay. If it's this important, we can march the blasted hollow in with some troops to guard it. I'm gonna have Colin deal with this. I know Liliana seems better, but I'm gonna do Colin. Inquisitor. Because honestly, I don't want those people to think that, like, they got a trophy. Golden opportunity. Inquisitor, my, how things have changed. When we first arrived at Skyhold, we would have been lucky to have the elite of Halam Sharal even acknowledge our presence. Now that we've occupied Suliden Keep and can no longer be ignored, a group of merchants and noblemen have approached me with a proposal. They say that since the Inquisition is currently better placed to keep order in the Dales than even the Imperial Throne, they would like to set up a consortium of sorts. An Inquisition ambassador at their side will, according to them, and communication, I'll... Uh, aid communication and allow us to keep their interests safe even as they promote ours. It's worth considering, your worship. Josephine. Allow me to send the ambassadors and I shall begin the arrangement for this consortium. You got it, Josephine. Let us begin. All right, and with that, we will go ahead and end this meeting. Great work, everybody. Glad we could come to uh, new agreements and such. Alright then. That was fun. Got to fight off demons in an old elven temple. Didn't get the best of rewards, but hey. That's all we're gonna have time for today, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Give that like button a stab if you did. Subscribe if you want more death in your life. Be sure the bell is tolling for thee. And until next time, rest in peace. Bye! Enjoyed today's video? Well, there's plenty more for you to enjoy here. And if you also want to support this small channel, then there is also my Kofi, which is available, as well as a Twitter thread that gives you my commissioning info. And if you'd like some traditional art or literature, feel free to DM me on Twitter. Thank you for enjoying the video and for your viewership.